All right, guys, how's it going? So I thought I would show you the build modifier and I thought I would take it a step further and give you a little bit more control. So just to show you how the build modifier actually works is, I've got a plane, I'll quickly jump into edit mode. I'll select the edges and I'll do an extrusion on the edge, so just something like this. So nothing amazing, I'll jump back into object mode. I'll come in the spanner and I'll add in the build modifier. If you go back in the negative value, you'll be able to see the order that the polygons were created in, so something like this. Which is great, but 9 times out of 10, you don't actually model like this. You might even import an asset, so I'm going to show you how you can give it a bit more control. So we'll quickly delete this, and we'll use good old Cezanne, so I'll go to Add, Mesh, Monkey. And I'll do the same again, I'll use the Build modifier, and I'll go back in the negative value. And you can see here how it's actually been built. Now that's pretty good, and the modeling's pretty decent, but what if I want to actually build from somewhere like the ear? Well, I can actually place my 3D cursor by pressing Shift and right click. Let me just quickly delete this build modifier. I'll jump into edit mode. If I come up to mesh, you can see here, sort elements. Now we have a few different options which should be looked at, but the one I'm interested at the moment is cursor distance. So you'll see that we've got a dialog box here and I'll change that to faces. I'll jump back into object mode. I'll re-add the build modifier. Now watch this. I now have a lot more control where the build has started from. Now the reason for this is it essentially uses a 3D cursor, but it also uses a point vertex order. So just to give you an example of this, if I jump into edit mode, I'll select points, I'll hit A. Now because I have developer options enabled, I can actually enable indices if I come here. And you can see the point order. Now if I go to mesh, sort elements, and I change it by something like view x-axis, you'll see that the point order has now changed. So that's how you use sort elements in the build modifier. Now the build modifier is pretty good, you can play around with it. You can randomise, you can do things like randomization, so you get this kind of nice effect. You can also reverse, you can change the length. And that's pretty much the entire tutorial. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You know what to do. Peace.